Are you guys ready for some comedians? Yeah, come on. Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun with these comedians. We've got three of them right now, and we're gonna start with our friend, Gabby Gutierrez-Reed. Here she is. Thanks for being here, Gabby. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, how are you? How are you tonight? <laughs> I wish that would happen in real life. You just ask someone, how are you? And they're like, woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> just wanna see how long I can tickle you guys. <laughs> uh, I don't really like going to the hairdresser. It's not my thing. I just never know what to say. I always end up saying, I just want something really different. And I realize what I'm trying to say is, I just wanna change my face. <laughs> I wanna look like Emma Watson. <laughs> I wanna smell like candy all the time. I want to look like I care. <laughs> Please, take the dead look out of my eyes. <laughs> uh, I have a boyfriend that's real, <laughs> and I don't, uh, we've been together for a while. I don't really call my period my period to my boyfriend anymore. I just come running out of the bathroom shouting, I have good news! <laughs> Such good news! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Happens every time. Like the thing is, having a baby wouldn't even break the bank because it's already so, so broken. <laughs> like I am on birth control though and it's like a really sensitive thing. It kind of sucks, like if I miss a pill, I'll have another period. It's just how it works with my body. So I'll miss a pill, I'll have a period, I'll have a second period, and after the third period, it just becomes an ellipsis. <laughs> I'm like, what happens next? <laughs> Is there a God? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a middle school educator. That's what I do for a living. <laughs> Thank you. I wish that the kids reacted that way. <laughs> um, sometimes like the kids like to call me out on stuff. Like a girl came up to me the other day and she was like, Miss, you have ripped jeans on. That's a dress code violation. You have to change. And I was like, Good thing I'm an adult and I don't have to do that. <laughs> she continued further and was like, but miss, that's not fair. If I had ripped jeans on, would you make me change? And I was like, no, cause I'm not a narc. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. God, I don't get paid enough to do that. Plus, snitches get stitches, everybody knows that. <laughs> uh, I like to play this game at work called The Whitest Thing I've Ever Heard. I don't know if you've ever done this, but uh, I used to think that the whitest thing I'd ever heard was, oh, that documentary was so good, I can't even listen to a podcast right now. <laughs> then I heard something else. <laughs> and the whitest thing I've ever heard is, I took mushrooms and Jesus told me to help the inner city black children, so that's why I'm a teacher. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> what? Jesus didn't tell him to do that. He told himself to do that. <laughs> His subconscious told him. I think I'm just jealous because like, he chose to work with kids, but I work with kids because I screwed up in life. <laughs> <laughs> Made one too many mistakes and I'm afraid to admit that I like it. <laughs> uh, my mom found out that I do stand up and she immediately started writing her own material. <laughs> Um, so this is my mom if she were to do stand-up for you. Should we bring her up? Should we do it? <laughs> okay, this is Josie Reed. Josie Reed. <laughs> okay. All right, I don't do Facebook, all right? I do face-to-face, -face, am I right? <laughs> all right, I don't do smartphones, because I'm smart, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't do GPS. I do PMS. Get the frick out of my way. Am I right? Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Oh, God. Went to the doctor for a checkup. Said everything was all right, uh, but he was concerned about the way my lips move when I laugh. 
<laughs> oh God. My husband's an alcoholic. <laughs> I hate my daughter so much. <laughs> All right, that was Josie Reed, everybody. Wow. <laughs> she gets so dark at the end. <laughs> so dark. Uh, we did have like a lot of family issues growing up, but instead of going to a therapist to solve them, we just went on really long road trips. <laughs> Worked it out that way. My mom was in the front like, why do you drink so much? And my dad's like, it's not my fault. And I'm in the back like, I'm still Jenny from the block. Used to have a little, now I have a lot. No, 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 no. My brother was like, shut up, Gabby. Everyone can hear you. And I was like, oh, I'm being too loud. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. <laughs> so much fun. Uh, I'm gonna get off on this one. This is a really sad moment in life. Uh, I hope this never happens to you. This is my impression of an empty ketchup bottle. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> this had to happen today, okay. <laughs> God, why? Why today? Uh, thank you so much. Give it up for Latinos all around and your host. Don't leave. Uh, thank you, Gabby. Do you have anything coming up? Is there a place where people can track you down? Like, do you have, do you have a Twitter? Can people follow you and, and get all of your insights? Um, I am super bad at social media, but if you want to request me on Facebook, it's totally fine. Gabby Gutierrez Reed. I'll be hosting at El Torito on May 11th for JT Habersat. That'll be really cool. May 17th, I'm on Woke Up Stand Up. May 18th, I'm on Seahorse No Seahorse at Fort Greene. And uh, May 25th, Comedy Super Jam at Mutiny Information Cafe. Awesome. Thanks, Gabby, so much. Have a good night. Thank you. One more time, one more time. Come on, all the way for Gabby. Yeah.